and the pres president has the power to issue an adaptation order yes under clause under the second proviso to clause d the president can issue an adaptation order correct when you have a regular government and a legislative assembly in place you require the concurrence of the government correct right yes. now where the power of the government has been vested in the president under 356 it yes. cannot be that the power of the president to issue an order of adaptation is taken away correct now who will exercise that power uh, that, that power of concurrence the president is it can't be contrary to 3 uh, to, to clause d of uh, 37 373d it can't be that mother no, that power can't be exercised 370 no mr sibal 370d says that no such order which relates to a matter other than referred to in the last preceding clause shall be issued except with the concurrence of that government yes. now that government means the state government no, it means now, council what, of ministers ha uh, council of ministers now what happens when a 356 notification is issued well, yes, please in which case will we say that that power cannot be exercised at all by the president yes, i i'm going to i would i'll answer that then mothers kindly read, read mothers c and d such of the other provisions of the constitution that is excluding article 1 And 370. Well, under D, the president has the power to issue adaptations to the constitution, which are all these orders that we are now seeing. The other provisions of the constitution. It says D says that, Mr. Okay. Which of the other, excluding one no, no, and excluding 370? This is an amendment of 370 itself. How can the president exercise that power under D? No, we are now looking at the three exercises of the power to substitute 367. Yes, but. That effectively is the amendment to the constitution. The to C seventy. Mr. Mr. Sibal, the president has the power to amend the constitution or create exceptions by taking recourse to the power under clause D, the second proviso. The president has an unquestioned power to do it. Yes. When there is a government in existence, it is conditioned by the requirement of concurrence. Now, what happens when the government has been superseded under 356? I'm just using "superseded" in a loose expression. If the government has ceased to exist by the exercise of the power under 356, the entirety of the power of the government is now vested in the president. But even the government cannot change Article One, 370. Miras Jammu and Kashmir Legislative Assembly can't. You are right. Absolutely. Therefore, the executive can't go beyond that. You are right. Therefore, the government. The, the government also has no power to to amend 370 by itself no can't change the scheme of 370 forget about amendment but 370 itself postulates that it can be abrogated no, and this 370 to say that it can postulate to efface article 3 then i have no answer no no then i have no answer no, no. it's simple the question is slightly different the question is slightly different now under clause d to section 371 yes the president by an order can Make modifications to the provisions of the constitution as they apply to that state. Well, please, please, please. I'm sorry to interrupt your logic, but read the first part. Such of the other provisions of this constitution. Correct. I'm coming so to that. Modifications yes. can only be. We have part. understood that. Just for the time being, just leave that argument apart. Because one way to interpret clause C to section three, article three seventy one, is that it is only saying. One and three seventy will certainly apply to the state of Jammu and Kashmir. D refers to such other provisions of the constitution shall apply in relation to the state, subject to such exceptions and modifications as the president may by an order specify. For the time being, we are referring to three sixty seven because the power under three sixty seven there was three sixty seven four which was applicable even at the time of in two thousand nineteen. There was. Clause four of Article three sixty seven, which is certainly applicable at the time, right. even right. in two thousand. Yes, yes. Now, if in order to make modification to that clause, yes. during when three fifty six is invoked, what will be the procedure? But that's that? an interpretation clause. That's not a clause to amend the constitution. I mean, I I, I don't understand, Malad. I mean, obviously, I've gone something wrong in my. In my understanding of 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 the plain reading of the section, Malus, I got obviously I'm completely wrong. But with greatest respect, Malus, that's an interpretation clause. Interpretation clause cannot be amended. Uh, no, by interpretation clause you can't amend three seventy. That's the power. With great respect, Malus, you can't substitute the legislative assembly, the constitutional legislative assembly. What has that got to do with interpretation? What you can't do directly, you can't do indirectly, Malus. And where does the president get that power when it says such of the other provisions of the constitution 
uh, shall apply in relation to the state subject to such extent. That means other provisions of the Constitution, you can have exceptions and modifications, not exception and modification to 370. So I will not amend 370, but I will amend 367 to amend 370. In your argument on that as well, 367.4, one second, 367.4 was brought in for the first time, not with the constitution, but in 1954, right? So when 367.4 is brought in, if your argument is right, then the original insertion of 367.4 is also invalid. No, that was interpretation. But uh, this is Damruk. Uh, that's a case directly on point where your lordships have said, Governor was always known to be the governor. Sadre Riyasat was only the name. The argument was Sadre Riyasat prior to 1965 had to be elected. Right. But, 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 but yes. that's straight away. Had to be elected. But in fact, now the governor was directly appointed by the president. Right? He didn't have to be elected. So merely because there's a change of nomenclature. But if you change the substance of 370, considerations would be entirely different. That's a submission. That's held by your lordship. So let's let's not. Uh, there was no fundamental alteration there. Here, there's a fundamental alteration. What you can't do directly, your lordships are now saying. Let's let's look at 367. It is hard to find an alleyway to reach a logical conclusion. One can try very hard, but I get lost in the in my in my uh, when okay, I go to my simple, own. Let's put it very I simply. Lost in alleyways, Mother. Let's put it very simply. When Article 356 is in operation, how will you effectuate Clause 4 to Article 370, Clause 1, according to you? I will, Malaz. Please let me reach that stage. I have tried to answer all your questions so far, Malaz. I'll answer that also. So now we have seen the uh, uh, that notification and Malaz, of 5th are, August and the original are, Article 360. 370, please remember, it says notwithstanding anything in this constitution at the beginning, and then it says, notwithstanding anything in the foregoing provisions. 356 doesn't begin with that, with a non obstante clause. It's important to know that even 373 says, notwithstanding the above provisions. So it's notwithstanding of notwithstanding. So then how do you exercise that power in any other way? 366 has to be subject to 370. It doesn't say, notwithstanding any provision of the Constitution, I can do what I like. Okay, you go back to Malad's what we tried to get rid of in 1950. Yes, yes. It says that provided further that no bill providing for increasing or diminishing the area of the state of Jammu and Kashmir or altering the name or boundary of that state shall be introduced in parliament without the consent of the legislature of that state. So there is no legislature. I mean, there is no legislative assembly. Governor has dissolved on the 21st of November, the assembly. You have to introduce the bill only with the consent, concurrence of the legislature. You introduce the bill contrary to the article because he says this is suspended, nothing exists. But by this time it's dissolved. How do you do that? Every executive act is constitutionally flawed, impermissible. It's a violation of the fundamentals of constitutional law. Yes. So the first proviso dealt with another states like Telangana when they were created. It had to go to the legislature for expression of views. Government of India may not. Parliament may not agree with those views. Of course, the power of parliament given by the, by the constitution <laughs> itself. So they introduced a bill without the legislative consent. I'll come to the reorganization bill later, but I just wanted to mention, because we are on this list of dates, that this itself could not have been done. Governor's consent was taken. Had to be, mothers. Not, not that we know, but... Um, yeah, it was hard. That's right. That's right. No, I'm sorry, mothers. The proviso, and then they they gave consent themselves, took their own views. Well, as they they had to take the views of the legislature. They removed the proviso and took their own views, and on the basis of that. But give us the sequence. You told us last time. I think 19 December 2018, which was the documents compilation volume three, page 92, when the proclamation under 356 was issued. That's right. They yeah. suspended the provision of the state constitution and proviso to article 3 was also suspended. That's right. That's step one. Right? That's step one. Then thereafter. Um, President's rule was extended from time to time. Yes. On 3rd July, it was extended thereafter. And on 5th August, this happened. 5th of August, 19. 19. So originally, Malas, 19th of June, just to get 
two, three facts right. 19th of June, Murad's BJP withdrew support. 20th of June, governor exercised the powers to keep the assembly in animated suspension. 20th, the very next day, he didn't Murad explore the possibility of a government being formed. Now, he had to necessarily under the Jammu Kashmir constitution hold elections within six months. When Murad's, there were some attempts made in December to form a government, November to form a government between the, the, the National Conference as well as PDP. Immediately on 19th December, 20, 21st November, he dissolved the assembly. The six months were not yet over. So what is the date of that? Uh, on 21st of November. 21st of November 2018. 18. He dissolved the assembly. And can you just ask one of your juniors to give us a page reference? I'll do that. Well, the, which power does the, I mean, what power does the president have to make such a declaration? So which provision of the constitution? Now, let us see this. So, parliament that is acting under 356 becomes the legislative assembly, recommends to itself, exercising the powers under 370 as a constituent assembly, and then says that 370 ceases to exist. So, you, Malaj, therefore, assume all the powers of the state legislature, of parliament, of the constituent assembly, and give consent to yourself. Recommend to yourself and accept the recommendation yourself. So, amazing exercise of constitutional ledger domain. So, the power which they were exercising was the power under clause D of subsection 1 of, of, of clause 1 of article 370. Correct. Absolutely right. But, unfortunately, Mullers, they couldn't do that. Because clause one dealt with instrument of accession, subject, subject related to instrument of accession, and then in list concurrent list issues. No, no, clause D is wider than that. Wider. You are referring to clause A. We are referring to clause D. Yes, I am reading all clause A also. D requires the concurrence of that government. That's correct. That is the JNK government. That and that is government means government council of ministers, Malad. Government is not gov under the. But tell us what happens when there is a 356 in operation in uh, uh, the, the the state of JNK. Well, let's put it this way, well, How does 356 in normal circumstances happen? Well, the governor sends a report. The report is that the provisions of the constitution cannot be carried on right. in this particular state. The govern the the the, the 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 government of India under 356 millers takes over. Right. Right. Now. At that time, the assembly is in suspended animation. That's the normal way that it is done. You keep the assembly in suspended animation. You exercise your powers. Ultimately, the intent is to restore democracy. So, therefore, Malaz, towards the end of it, when you know that elections should be held and you want restoration of democracy, you dissolve the assembly and then you hold elections.